We want to come back to one of our top stories this morning, and that's the latest at Chrysler. Their CEO, Sergio Marchionne, says that bailed out car company could be ready to go public in the second half of 2011. He made the announcement just a short while ago. Listen in. It's, I don't think it's the first part. Right. I think it's the second half year event. <laughs> A second half of the year event. Joining us to comment and give some perspective is former Chrysler uh, head Jerry Greenwald and founding member of Greenbrier Equity Group. He joins us on the phone from Colorado. Uh, Jerry, good to have you with us this morning. Um, second half of the year event. Uh, is that the right kind of timing given the uh, volatility in the markets, given the economic uncertainty out there? Are you comfortable with that time frame? Well, comfortable, no, but uh, I think he's. I think uh, Sergio uh, Marchioni is, is doing the right thing. He's he's pointing his bat toward uh, toward trying to uh, motivate his own people to achieve this goal, and uh, I think he has a very good chance of uh, of making it happen. Uh, well, when you say comfortable, no, what is it that that makes you less comfortable with the, with the timing of that? Well, I, the way I look at it. Um, uh, uh, Based of, from his leadership, they have created uh, a lower-cost Chrysler. They have new product coming out. They can break even with total car and truck sales in the United States at 10 million. Uh, sales are, are, are now getting closer to 12 million mm -hmm. for the year. A normal year would be 15 or 16 million. So, if the economy, even if, it, if even if it grows slowly, if the economy continues to grow in the United States, I think he can meet his goal. You think he can meet his goal, but you would like to see more sales growth or more profitability before re-entering the, pro the, the public markets? Well, I think there are two factors. One is, as you pointed out, profitability. They're starting to show improvement. Operating results are better. But in addition, if, if, as their absolute car sales rise, they're going to create a lot of cash. And that's going to be an important measure uh, for the IPO market. So what is your read then um, on, on why Sergio would say, you know, a second half of the year event, if perhaps, you know, you'd want to wait for the economy to catch up or, or sales or profitability? I mean, in other words, did, did GM up the stakes by filing for, for their IPO? Did that sort of force Chrysler? Well, it's a healthy competition, isn't it? Uh, they're, they are they're all three. Well, I shouldn't say all three. Ford is on their own, but mm -hmm. uh, GM and Chrysler both uh, are very are very uh, interested in separating uh, from government involvement. I, I've used this expression before: uh, government and private sector are are, uh, are a marriage of porcupines. Uh, <laughs> we just have the two have too many different goals, and they try to cooperate and they're doing their best, but they need to separate. So I, I think uh, GM's announcement uh, may have further stimulated that, that motivation to get to be a private company again. Is there a benefit to being first out? Uh, sure. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I think uh, both of them uh, have some, um, I'll call it emotional overhang uh, for, for uh, the consumer. All things equal, same price, same quality. I think people are more inclined to buy from Ford than uh, GM or Chrysler right now. All right. Uh, well, Jerry, thank you for giving us uh, this perspective and for calling in. We appreciate you uh, joining us. Jerry Greenwald, um, formerly of Chrysler, now uh, with Greenbrier.